gorgeous. This cup greets me every morning for coffee. Hey you guys, can you believe that February is here? What happened to January? Anyway, with February here, I thought this would be a good time to share with you my January favorites. Of course, it's the new year, new me mantra, but I guess the new me is trying to grow her hair out, so at Proxy, I am not washing it as much. So the very first thing that I have on my January favorites is this Reference of Sweden Dry Shampoo. I use this when I want one or two days before washing my hair again and I spray it around the crown of my hair and I'll lift up and I'll spray and I'll leave it for about 60 to 90 seconds and then taking my hands I will just massage that in to absorb the oil and then I recommend if you use dry shampoo to always uh, do an updo that way you know your hair doesn't weigh down it looks a little less greasy but yes for those days when you know your Friday is held together with coffee and dry shampoo I am all about that. The next thing I was using a lot in January was this Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning Lip Balm. It is wonderful. It doesn't have a scent or a flavor. You can put it on top of or underneath your lipstick when you go. And then I like using it right before bed as well. Um, it helps keep my lips very ch um, chapped. Yeah, it helps keep them chapped. So it helps keep them moisturized because when it's cold and snowy and just dry out, my skin will get very, very dry. So Burt's Bees has been a game changer. And I have loved this product. It was in my stocking from Santa. Keeping up with moisturizers, not only on the lips, I've really enjoyed continuing to use the Avalon Organics Vitamin C Renewal Oil-Free Moisturizer. I did an entire video of like Avalon Organics and I'll put the card right here if you want to check that out. But this comes with an entire like skincare line with moisturizer, toner, and cleanser. And this stuff smells amazing. It's not super heavy. And again, it just moisturizes the skin, which is what you're looking for in the cold winter months in the Midwest. The next thing I have been obsessed with here in the month of January, because I got them for Christmas, Bath and Body Works candles. Um, if you watch my apartment tour video, you know that my house is filled with these things. Right now, we have Vanilla Snowflake. Vanilla Bean Noel and Twisted Peppermint. They smell so nice. And I find that Bath and Body Works candles, the term is throw scent, or when you light them, you can really smell, you know, the scent of the candle. It's not just fire in your house. These are wonderful. I really do recommend them. So if you like them, get them next year for holidays. I don't does Bath and Body Works sell candles year round? The next thing I have been using every single day is this Contigo. It's like a water bottle. I got this from Target. It was like $20. What I like about it is I'm getting into making green smoothies in the morning, like which is fruit, spinach, water, or juice, whatever I want. And no matter the size of the smoothie, if it fits in the blender, it will fit in here. I like that I could just pop this off. I guess that's what we're gonna say. <laughs> I like how I can just press this button here and it just pops open for me. I also like how if it's closed and I want to go somewhere, this little ring pops up and I can just carry it along with me or I can clip it onto my purse and just go. Yeah, this is really $20 and I've had this for a really long time. I've just started using it more often. If you are getting into like drinking your greens or making smoothies or shakes, I highly recommend these from Target. And last, but certainly not least, is definitely a favorite, even though I didn't get it until towards the end of this month. Um, one of my best friends who I met when I worked on board cruise ships, which I have on my carnival right now. Um, when I worked on carnival, one of the performers that I worked with, her name is Erin, she's currently out on a ship because she doesn't want to be around all the snow because she's smart. She sent me this really cute, like, to-do list that you can put on your fridge. Uh, it says, jot and mark and it has the date things you have to get done things to buy uh things to remember meals you're gonna have that day people you need to get in touch with exercise and then my favorite i thought it says acts of kindness and it has a little heart on it this is so cute and i like the colors and i like that i can put this on my fridge and there's plenty of them because 
Lord knows if you've been on this channel since 2017, you know that I've changed jobs, I've minimalized all my stuff, and as of yesterday, I became a homeowner. Whew, so exciting. I have one month left in this beautiful apartment. Again, watch my apartment tour video. But these come in such handy when you have a million things to do and you cannot keep it all straight and you're not sleeping and you're getting sick and you're distressed. These are wonderful. So Erin, thank you so much for this. Anyway, those are my January favorites. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what things you like using here in the month of January. And if you have not already done so, please make sure to click the little red subscribe button down below. There's also, I guess, a bell down there. And if you click the bell by the subscribe button, it sends you an email every time I upload. I'm not really sure what that's all about but I'm told to let people know about it. So down below, red subscribe button, click that. If you're so inclined, there's a bell button below there, click that. I'm sure it looks like I'm pointing to other things not below the screen, don't click that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and comment, and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll go, I'll see you guys later. Have a great February.